We don't have neeps, but we have carrots, so that'll have to do. And no haggis. I was going to make homemade haggis. We have a rack of lamb, so Billy can cook that for us. Burns night at the Lazy Sage Ranch. A care package. You got a P.O. box open. We got a what? P.O. box opening. We got a P.O. box opening and a care package. And a care package. Where's our P.O. box from? Um, from over here. From we just haven't showed anybody yet, huh? From B. Moore. From Beverly Moore. We'll open that in a little bit. Look. Let's open up what is, what, let's open up what's cold. What care. Who sent it? My brother. He used good tape like we did the last time. <laughs> make, it, make it work to get it open. Oh, oh it's cold. Squash. Zucchini squash. Already churned up. We can make cakes or zucchini cakes or zucchini oh, yeah. bread. That's the frozen in the longer. Hold those peppers up. Let me see. <gasps> those big Jim peppers, I think you said. They're, they're great for great, great for barbecuing, grilling, and then you got to peel them. The wow. Skin, the skin's got to come off. What else is in here? Oh, my. Some more. What's that? I think those more big Jim peppers. Oh. Beautiful. Pretty, pretty. All right. Oh, and then there's more, another big Jim pepper. A loin steak. There's probably. Not sure if that's. I'm gonna get nope. in here. What's this? Wild game. What's that? It looks like a. Uh, Lo loin. I bet you it's elk because probably. Kevin knows I love elk. Look at look at that. Ooh. Yeah. It. Elk. Ground. Arizona game service. Room roast. Oh my gosh. That is gonna make some great stroganoff right there. Ooh. Another round steak. Big old rump roast. Thank you, Kevin. Ooh. <laughs> It'll go good over here. <laughs> Wherever my gallbladder used to be. Right. Thank you, Kevin. Ooh, now I gotta go shopping. Thank you, sir. We gotta get this ice chest back. Tell tell the folks and our future grandkids what are we doing with your brother with this ice chest? Well, he wants the local honey made by his long, long time buddy. So he likes the, the honey and then the Shots Bakery bread, fresh yeah. bread from the local bakery. So. Yeah, so nice. Wow. See, I can't wait to go. That's his priority. He's like, well, that's high on the list. <laughs> so whatever oh. we send him back. So. What are you putting on the fire? I'm putting some lack of ram. No, rack of lamb. <laughs> what are you seasoning it with? Just salt and pepper. Nice. French sea salt. Yeah. Nice. So we're doing that. It's just salt and pepper, and then are you going to smoke it? Yeah, then you're going to smoke it. All right. So a French salt on a Bobby Burns rack of lamb. <laughs> Robbie Burns. So kind of you have a poem in mind? I don't know. Peppercorn, Are you peppercorn. Using a little smoker? Yep. All right. It's a little piece of meat. Oh. Nice. What kind of chips are you using, on? Hickory. Hickory? Hickory chunks. Like a ram. Oh. So how long is that going to take? About an hour, a little more, maybe. Beautiful. To be done for back of that. Here's my chips. Let's see. There. Is there hickory? Hickory chunks that I've cut down to chip size or chipper. Closer to chip size. Nice. You start out like that? They're huge. Cut them down for the little smoker. Clip them down to tiny bits. Yum. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Probably just right. Ooh, Ooh I've got a brick house. <laughs> Howdy. Welcome to Burns Night. Robert Burns. Famous poet from Scotland. Oh, that's not him. That's not him. <laughs> but the, that came from Scotland. Scotland. And his grandmother used to write 
notes and put them in things. I don't know if anybody else does that, but we're celebrating tonight because of Vern's night and we're celebrating because we haven't been able to do very much because Billy finally got recovered from surgery. So that's awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Billy made rack of lamb on the smoker. So that's really nice. And I've got tatties over here, potatoes, and I don't have neeps, which are turnips, but I do have a root vegetable and that's carrots. So that's what we had, <laughs> orange, orange neeps. And Glen Goyne Distillery, we, this is really special. Why, honey? Um, Cause we're still game. Because we're still game. <laughs> we, we're gonna be watching still game after our Burns night tonight. Distillery that we went to outside of Glasgow, Scotland, from the TV show that we watch called Still Game. We will begin in the main bonding hall shortly. Lingoy, oh, I'm so excited, Jack. You know, this is like, it's like Charlie Wonka. Oh, I, I, Charlie Wonka and the Blues Fight. <laughs> so we're celebrating Burns Night, and I've got my book here with all my markings in here. This book was given to me by our son, and I really wanted a Robert Burns book, and he found an antique for me. This was 1944 copy and it's from Oxford. I've got favorites in here and or pronounce all of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get well, what happens when the Scottish speak, you know, you you better be on your game because <laughs> you know, lose you. get lost, they hammer you with it. There's one, the very first one that's written in here is Tam O'Shanter, and it's really, really good. And it's about a guy that went to a pub and he saw a lot of crazy things on the way home, witches and so forth, and he had a nightmare. So it was like, almost like a, a lesson for anybody drinking. Similar of America walking home after drinking moonshine, <laughs> seeing things. <laughs> right, seeing things. And then, my love is a red, red rose. And I found one today, Bonnie Leslie. He wrote Auld Lang Syne. So what we sing on New Year's, Robbie Burns, or Robert Burns, he wrote that. So From a couple centuries ago. My grandmother had, and I remember seeing it when I was a little kid. It's Greer's Scottish Whiskies. <laughs> so that was my grandmother's note to my dad. We're still game. We're definitely still game. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We got a P.O. box. <laughs> Our first P.O. box. This happened right before Christmas, and we haven't had the opportunity to show it. This is from Beverly Moore, and this is our first P.O. box from Beverly's. But this was for Fred. <laughs> Hedgehog. That was for Fred. Another squeeze. And we'll have to, we'll, yeah, he'll, he, and he'll love to get my glasses on. Local, oh, thank you, honey. Hobo. Hobo Holler. Hobo Holler Farms, and it's blueberry jam, muscadine jelly from the area that she lives in. Thank you, Beverly Moore. Ha uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I don't know if she wanted us to read anything from here. Um, yeah. Leslie and Billy, I hope that you'll enjoy the jam and jelly. Sky and Missy wanted to send Fred a little gift also and hope he enjoys it. Love your friends, Beverly, Sky, and Missy. It's so great that their dog named Sky from the like from the Isle of Sky. This is just perfect. And perfect night. Perfect night. Perfect night. They're her dogs and they're beautiful. We are Billy and I are both have a large portion of Scottish in us. He's got this perfect, wonderful pie shape. You know, he's got third, 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 and I've got half, third, piece, 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 all over. Little slices. I was trying to get him to play guitar tonight. He still might, though. Happy Burns Night, and I hope everybody stays blessed, healthy, kind. Happy. Happy, grateful, prosperous, and you're always welcome on the... Lazy Seed Ranch. On the Lazy Seed